Yo, what's going now, Capone Squad? My name's Capone, and today I'm answering your Q&A questions. Now, I received a bunch of questions, more than I expected, so I won't be answering all of them, but I decided to turn this into a weekly series just from the questions I have now. But uh, if you guys want to be in the Q&A series next week, I may be starting it. Leave a question down below for me. I love doing Q&As. I think it's just so, so interesting, and uh, I love it when my favorite YouTubers do Q&As, so yeah. So thank you to all that entered in the XBL giveaway. Stick around for the end of the video. There may be another one. But uh, yeah, another thing is guys, please don't subscribe. You guys don't have to subscribe to enter the giveaway. I just don't like it when people subscribe for giveaways. It just, it's just no good. Just don't subscribe. All you guys need to do is comment down down below XBL and leave a question. So uh, let's get started. Let me just open up my Google Chrome here. I have all the questions here. And the first question comes from I am Bobo I for the win. And he asks, are you getting called Ghost for PC? Now, yes, I am. A definite yes, but first I'm getting it for PS3 just for video making reasons and then mid-year I may get it for PC, but I definitely will be getting it. Next question comes from It's CMI HD. He asks, do you like TGN? I don't know why I just went monotone there, but the answer to your question, CMI, is a definite yes. I love TGN, I love the staff, I love everyone there, and I love partnering some people, and I love recruiting. It's just a really good job, and uh, the network's just a really clear and transparent and honest network. So uh, next question comes from YoFace200. He says, don't play Xbox, but what's your favorite and least favorite thing about doing YouTube? Not common stuff, like my subs and stuff. But uh, let me just go with the common stuff. Uh, my favorite thing is definitely the interaction, the subs, of course, and the views and the money, of course, guys. But uh, no, I'm just kidding, guys. But my most favorite thing is definitely HD videos. Now, that just seems so retarded, but it's just like I love seeing my videos and I love watching like the HD quality of it and it rendering and whatnot. I just love how it looks, how my videos sound. I love how I produce my videos and I love making videos in general. That's my favorite thing to do. I love making videos. Now, the worst thing or the thing that I hate most about YouTube or doing YouTube videos and whatnot is probably the haters. Like, they get really annoying considering they're really, really stupid. And most of the time, the comments are just retarded, or I just can't read what they're saying because they don't have proper grammar, spelling, or punctuation, etc. But they're just really annoying. That's the thing. They're just really, really stupid. And that's just what bothers me the most. Stupidity and imbecility, I guess. Just people being really ignorant, arrogant, and just really stupid people. Now, uh, Top Spin Cam 629 asks, what was your inspiration for making YouTube videos? Now, at first, I think it was around, I think it was Woody or White Boy. Uh, those two definitely inspired me to do more, but definitely Chris Move. I remember he was like the first COD commentary, so I guess that kind of got me watching gaming videos, and then I started making commentaries and whatnot. So I guess Chris Move in the end. But now, one of my favorite inspirations, or the inspiration for making all of these great videos that I like to make, is definitely Goon Productions legit gaming 360 it's so sad to me because he quit like a month ago and a month ago i just started watching him now uh i love his life stories i love the style of his videos and that really what that's really what inspires me to make life stories uh, I just love his channel. I wish he didn't quit. I really wish he didn't quit. He just made really good videos. But of course, if he wasn't enjoying it, he wouldn't make any good videos. Therefore, I wouldn't watch him. So uh, next question is Jay Carbon. And this question got a lot of likes, five likes. And he was like, how far do you think your channel will grow? Now, my initial goal for my channel, all in all, is 10,000 subscribers. Once I hit that, I'm just going to lay back, make as many videos as possibly can, and enjoy my time on YouTube. Don't worry about a goddamn thing. But after that, I would say 100,000. That would be crazy, and that would be freaking awesome. So, uh, let's make it happen. Hashtag Pose Squad. Next question comes from uh, Unique Solar. He asks, who inspired you to do YouTube? If you never did YouTube, what would you be doing now? I already inspired, I already did the inspired question, so I guess I would do, what would I do if I never did YouTube? And I would just say, I don't know. I really don't. As far as I remember, all the things I used to do always had to do with YouTube, and that may be sad, that may be kind of bad, but, uh, it always really had to do with YouTube, but I obviously would still be hanging out with friends. Mostly, uh, that's basically what I would do. Just hang out with friends every day, every day. And that's what I do already. Every day, a few of my friends come home after school and we all hang out. We skateboard and whatnot. It's just fun. Uh, next question is Froyo115. He asks, do you think you will be big like Syndicate or Allie? Now, I don't know. The, que the answer to that question is I don't know. That's just a crazy, crazy number. They have like a million subs. I think Syndicate's like the biggest 
gamer now? I don't know. I really don't know. So uh, let's go to the next question. Next question comes from Len X Z X X. I don't know how to do them. Sorry. And he asks, how did you start commentating? Now, as I said, Chris Move inspired me the most. But in the end, I really just enjoyed the game at the time. I started commenting like commenting, commenting. Uh, my first commentary was actually like on the map firing range in BO1. I still have that video. I think I might upload it for <laughs> a special video, like a throwback video or something like that. That would be freaking hilarious. But uh, yeah, I remember my first commentary. I might upload it and show you guys a little bit of it. It's really embarrassing. It's on channel none of you guys may know about. But uh, next question comes from, last question actually is XXX Lagator. XXX and he asked a really interesting question. How does your diabetes affect your daily life now to be honest? It actually doesn't all that much at some t some points in the months or uh, whenever I have like these breakdowns and whatnot. I'm like, oh my god Why can't I eat this? Why do I have to go to sleep so early? Why do I have to wake up so early every day? I have my life is basically lived off a of schedule. It's sometimes it gets really annoying But in the end it really isn't that that bad to be honest I live healthier than most kids around my age but uh yeah I have a schedule I eat at certain times and it really doesn't affect me all that much so uh, that was the end of the first Q&A if you guys want me to do another one continuing these questions I definitely will so the winner of this giveaway is drumroll please now the winner of the XBL code is J Carbon. Uh, his question will be on screen right now. I answer his question today in this Q&A, but uh, yeah, if you guys want to enter for the next one, the next XBL giveaway, what you guys want to do is comment down below saying XBL. There doesn't have to be a question, but you guys may want to. But uh, yeah, my name's Capone, and I'm out. Thanks for watching, everyone. Peace.